Good morning, everyone. We're here today with Chef Yvette Bonanno, and we're cooking up certified Louisiana catfish. We're going to make some magnificent tacos. Yes. So tell us what's happening here. So, you know, it's summer. Everyone's, you know, just a lot of activities going on. People are fishing. Get out to your farmer's market. We picked up some beautiful vegetables, creole tomatoes this morning. Just keep it light and summery and fresh. And, you know, I think everyone will enjoy it. So, yeah. So, I mean, you go to San Diego, fish tacos are kind of the rage. So, I thought we would do a spin on the catfish. And we're going to do a, like a chipotle blackened catfish. And we're going to do a raw cabbage slaw. No mayonnaise. Okay. Um, so let's get started. So okay. in this bowl, we're going to go ahead and make a, a cilantro lime crema. This is kind of a fancy way of saying sour cream, cilantro, some lime's going to go in and that'll give it some, some brightness. Also, since we have some chipotle and jalapeno, it'll kind of cool the, the palate down a little bit. So okay. into your bowl, you can go ahead and put your sour cream. And we have some fresh chopped cilantro that can go in. Okay. All of it? All of it. All of it. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. And then I have some fresh squeezed lime juice. Right. You put about half of that in yeah. there. Yeah. And okay. then we need to season it with a little bit of salt. Okay. So we've got a little salt going little in. A little bit of salt. And this can be done ahead of time. Okay. So, um, you know, just keep it in your fridge. And now that we have our little cilantro lime crema, we're going to okay. go ahead and make the cabbage slaw. So to our cabbage, and I was just going to show you, green cabbage, I'm just going to use a knife and just shred our cabbage. You can also do this in a food processor. Okay. And we have Creole tomatoes, Okay. diced red onions, again, some more fresh cilantro. And I really love the red onions too. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. Got our lime juice. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more lime in. Okay. And again, we're not using mayonnaise. We're not even gonna use olive oil in it. We're just gonna let the brightness of the lime shine okay. through. Season it with a little bit of salt. And to this, we're gonna add chopped jalapenos. So uh -huh. Believe it or not, jalapenos year round are grown, but during the summer, they become more intense in flavor. The heat, okay. the capsicum, the seeds is where you're gonna find the fire. Okay. So I like to put a, a like a chop on it and then I like to taste one. They're ready. Oh, they're ready. <laughs> I'm getting some heat. So now you can kind of kind of determine how much you're gonna put in. Let's see, that should be good. Okay. So let's give it a little bit of a stir. It looks beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, and it smells delicious. So I think we're I think we've got a winner okay. there. Okay. So now we have our fillet of catfish that I went ahead and stripped into three ounce portions. So okay. again, so it cooks evenly. And what we're going to do is take some jarred chipotle, which is a smoked jalapeno, and we're going to put it right onto the catfish. We're just going to go ahead and marinate it a little bit, like such. And I have a pan heating right behind us. So we're gonna kind of do a little blackening effect. And to this, we need to season it with a little bit of salt. And you okay. have your pan on medium to medium I have high? It medium, I have it high. I have it rare, rare and ready to go. Okay. So we're gonna add just a little bit of olive oil to our pan. Okay. And you can see the smoke. So anytime we're cooking fish, any really protein, we only want to flip it once. And so what happens is the food product's going to go in. And then it's going to sear on that one side. Okay. And then when we flip it over, it'll encase all of the flavor and juices on the center. So every time you keep flipping it, whether it's a burger on the grill, right. steak, duck, lamb, pork, mm -hmm. every time you're flipping it, you're extracting the juices out of the meat. Uh, okay. So you want to just do it once? Just only flip once. Okay. We, we don't learn anything today. That's what we that's okay. what we're gonna say. Only flip once. So you can see the color of the fish is starting to become a little bit uh, white in color. It's obviously cooking on that side. And 
get that blackening effect, and that's from the Chipotle. I'm just going to fill it, kind of firm to touch. And what I love about these tacos is a little bit of protein goes a long way. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So let's go ahead and we can add our slaw to each one. Is that of about them. right? Perfect. Is that pretty or what? Oh my gosh, so gorgeous. That's and beautiful. such a healthy option. Yes. And then to that, we're gonna drizzle our crema. Looks so delicious. Chef Yvette, thank you so very much for bringing us into your home and teaching us and showing us how to cook this beautiful dish, certified Louisiana catfish, you know, fish tacos, with all the local products. And, and you look know at it's that. it's fresh. And it's fresh, <laughs> local. So buy fresh, buy local, buy certified Louisiana products. Let's dig in.